Hello, so I thought I'd post a short video about uh, a quick upgrade that I did to the Harbour Freight Chipper Shredder, the 6.5 horsepower Predator uh, motor. Uh, when I got it, uh, I wasn't happy with the motor mounts. Um, I noticed that uh, as the motor heated up, uh, the uh, motor mounts were becoming more and more squishy. Um, I'll show you in a minute with some photographs. Um, but uh, the motor mounts, as they became squishy, the vibration increased on the machine and uh, it got worse and worse as the motor got hotter because the uh, these rubber motor mounts seemed to be a little bit too squishy and were not really providing any support. So uh, let me show you uh, what I found and uh, how I fixed it. This is a quick, cheap upgrade. You can do it for uh, less than 10 bucks for the eight fender washers. Um, and uh, here we go. So unfortunately I only have a few pictures because uh, I've spent a few months and uh, I took some pictures at the time and actually I forgot to post this video um, until I saw the uh, videos, the pictures, excuse me, on my camera, on the foot of my camera phone. I said, oh, let me post that. So here's the first photograph. You can see here that uh, these are the rubber motor mounts. They fit between the bottom of the motor, which is this aluminum piece here and the frame of the chipper, which is this red bar right here. And you can see um, as they heated up this, you see how they're squished like this? As, as the motor got hotter and hotter, these got softer and it got worse and worse to the point where the motor, the bottom of the motor was almost hard up onto the frame of the chipper. And the vibrations got worse, of course, because uh, the less material there is obviously between the motor and the frame, the more you're going to get a vibration. So I looked at that and uh, it was a hot day, it was about 90 degrees, um, but the motor gets super hot and as it does, these motor mounts get softer. They're actually probably a little bit too soft of a compound. Anyway, so uh, what I decided to do was um, to uh, put some fender washers between excuse me, put the motor mount between two fender washers. The fender washers I purchased, I got them from the local hardware store. Um, by the way, if you have a hardware store nearby um, and a big box store a little bit further, why not instead of spending a f saving a few bucks to drive to the big box store, just go to your local hardware store. You'll probably save uh, the money that you would have saved by driving to the big box store. You'll probably save on gas. So let's support our local hardware store. We don't want them going out of business. Anyway, that's just an aside. So two fender washers, I believe they're about an inch and a half diameter that I purchased, two per motor mount. So that's a total of eight. And this is how I proposed to, uh, how I decided to, to uh, install them. So you have basically you're making a, a sandwich with the two fender washers, washers sandwiching the uh, motor mount. Let me show you what it looks like with the fender washers fitted. You can see here the two fender washers on e either side of the mount. Um, it's very easy to uh, switch them out and put the, or take out the motor mount and put the fender washers in. You just have to uh, remove this bolt here, undo the nut on the top, pull the bolt out, put the fender washers either side of the rubber mount, put it back in and push the bolt back in and tighten it up. There are four to each side probably only a 10 minute job to change them out but it's really a good upgrade and you'll find that the vibration is better and you'll see that the motor mounts as you can see here they don't uh, distort nearly as much as they do right out of the box so there you go there's a quick cheap upgrade to your harbor freight chipper shredder that'll reduce the vibration for less than ten dollars I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please click like and consider subscribing. Thank you.